All right, you guys, I am making some homemade cereal today um, with just ingredients that pretty much, I had all these in my pantry. So um, I try not to microwave. So I actually heated some coconut oil in here and I put this on my toaster. So it heated up the metal bowl and then it heated up the coconut oil. I'm gonna add in a bunch of ingredients here and then I'm going to put it on this cookie sheet and put it in the oven. Almonds and walnuts. With the coconut oil, we're going to add in some coconut, sunflower seeds, I've got some craisins, but you can use raisins, of course, or no fruit if you don't want any. I'm going to sweeten it with coconut sugar. You want the coconut oil to help you coat the cereal, but we don't want it soaking wet, obviously. We're gonna put some cinnamon, dash of salt. I think salt brings out the flavor in everything. Some vanilla, touch of vanilla, and some chia seeds. I'm also gonna use organic steel cut oats. I have not used this in my cereal before, but I hope it's gonna come out okay. So you can tell it's a little bit wet, uh, crumbly. I'm gonna taste this in a minute just to see if I like the sweetness and the flavors. I'm gonna give it a little bit more sugar. It's actually pretty darn tasty. All right, so there it goes. It's, you can see it's a little wet, but it is crumbly. And so when I toast this, the natural oils from the nuts are gonna come out um, and it'll, it'll toast up and it'll actually dry out and then it will make a nice dry cereal that I'm gonna package up. So now what I'm gonna do is lay it out in this pan. I only made a little bit, so my oven is preheated to 325. Just wanted to bring you in here for a second. I pulled this out of the oven just to give it a little stir. It's starting to dry up a little bit. Okay guys, this came out of the oven after about 20 minutes at 325. You can see it browned up. It is all now very dry. Very dry, that moisture is gone and it's completely cooled. It has to be completely cooled off. And now what I'm gonna do is put them in these Mylar bags that I have. I have a base at the bottom so I pushed it, pushed it open. And I'm going to put this in these bags. These bags have a Ziploc seal. So once I get it all tapped down, I'm actually going to seal this. Squeeze out the air and seal it. But on top of that, I'm gonna go heat seal this with my vacuum sealer and I'll be right back. All right, so I just heat sealed it. You might see that line right there. It is sealed, can you see that? Right there, so now it is airtight. I have stored these on the shelf for quite some time um, and they stayed fresh. So what I'll do when I wanna eat it is I'll just tear here and you can eat this like a granola 
or pour milk right in here and grab a spoon and you have cereal on the go. I just love them. I'll bring you guys along when I enjoy this. All right, here we go, time to dig in. I'm gonna rip the top off and open the seal. Pour in some milk and grab myself a spoon. I have to admit, I can't stand the sound of people eating typically, but listen to this crunch. It's really delicious. I hope you guys give it a try. Thanks for watching.